we all say we want love and we want to be acknowledged and we want somebody who really cares about us, but it's a lot harder to accept than we think. And a lot of times we'll start to get anxious when we feel loved in a way that's different than how we were treated when we were young. And before we're even conscious of that anxiety, we'll start to defend ourselves. We'll start to distort our partner. We'll start to focus in on their negative traits. Um, we'll uh, pick at them. Um, we'll see them in a more negative light. We'll distort them to be much more like people from our past than how they really are. And lastly, if all else fails, we'll tend to provoke our partner to treat us in ways that, albeit are more negative, they're more comfortable to us. We'll often get our partner to say exactly to us the negative things we think about ourselves. So if we're worried about how we look, about our weight, or insecure about that, we'll provoke our partner to actually say negative things to us about how we look that they may not even really feel. Or if we're worried about our intelligence, or how uh, smart we appear, we'll often provoke those kind of negative reactions from our partner. And certainly we know the kind of things we can say to our partner that take the smile off their face, that take that sweet look off our face. One of the women we worked with talked about she was in an interracial marriage and she would actually make racially uh, loaded comments to her husband because it would push him away. I mean that's an obvious example but there are these ways that we say things that are exactly the thing we know that will hurt the most. And in that we create that emotional distance that we don't really want but that we're more comfortable with. Rather, and I think that the real challenge in relationships is to try to accept the love directed toward us, to stick in there through the anxiety, and not do anything to alter the situation. And the times when these defenses really tend to come up is the times where we feel challenged, where it becomes more obvious to us that we're being loved or cared about in ways that are different from our family. So maybe when the decision to move in together, or to get our proposal of marriage, or the idea of having children together can be quite threatening. We may have always wanted to have children, but that person then offers to give us a child. And you know, one woman described how she turned around to her husband and said, well, you know, you'd have to take care of the baby too. It's like that whole, you know, um, it pushed him away at the time he was offering her what she wanted most.